I mean, this should just be a life tip. If you control or at least are aware of your daily thoughts and your daily actions and those hours that you spent doing something productive or doing something that made you happy, that means that that much point of a percentage of your year was spent making you happy. Hey guys, Hector Castillo, Poppy from girlschase.com. I've discussed this a little bit in some other videos, but I want to make it the central point of this video because I think it's very fundamental to having a healthier relationship and better relationships and ha happier relationships. Relationships, in my experience, are built by lots of little things done right over time. Seduction, the dating process, the courtship process, when you're first having your first date, second date, third date, or you start to kind of hang out and getting to know each other better. That is much more about big emotions and excitement and passion. And while relationships should have those elements, once you're in the relationship and you guys become comfortable with each other, you start to mellow out and find your frequency that you guys are going to pretty much operate on normally. Once you find that frequency, the job is to maintain it and to grow it slowly. Whereas a seduction, it's about like, oh, she really likes me and, and you know, I just got her phone number and I approached her and it's exciting and it's new and it's fun and we go on the date and then, you know, okay, we're talking, we're talking, it's all normal. And then I say something funny and she's all excited and she's like, oh my God, this guy's cute. And she starts to to, to see how much she really is gonna like me. And so her interest is going to skyrocket or plummet if you, um, you know, things go sour. Whereas in a relationship, because she's invested and you guys are together, you're not gonna have such spikes of emotion unless of course you are a very wild man or she's a very wild girl and you guys are very emotional people and you're not very stable with your, your communication. And this is, even with guys and girls who I know who are very wild, like once they're in a relationship, like things mellow out because they're, you know, you kind of have the security. And so it doesn't, anxiety and paranoia and, you know, neediness, they don't manifest as much uh, because the other person you know is going to kind of be there. Of course, it could be too much, but there's stability. So because there is stability in this frequency and there's not going to be too much crazy things happening, although they may happen. The relationship's health and the the nature of it is going to be mostly built little by little. And it started the moment you guys were first talking. So seduction, you guys get together, you have sex, whatever, then you start like dating and then things start to kind of, okay, we know each other's frequency. So what's gonna dictate the slow linear growth is going to be your daily decisions, your daily choice of words, your daily attitudes towards her, the little texts here and there. They are going to slowly add up to what you call the relationship. Think of the relationship as, okay, here's one year of our relationship. Well, that's built of 365 days. Well, those 365 days are built up of 24 hours each. And every second that we spend together, every minute, every hour, every day is going to contribute to our overall feeling towards each other. And that feeling could either stabilize, start to go down slowly or start to go up. So unless there's some drastic decision that one of you make or a drastic reaction or, or some life event happens, you will build your relationship with each second that you spend together. And so knowing that and understanding that is going to help give you a blueprint on how to approach a relationship in its totalness and its totality. So when you are spending time with her, now you don't want to be some like paranoid guy, super OCD. And I know that personally because I kind of am where I'm, I'm always watching every moment. I'm very over analytical about every single moment. It's been in my nature for most of my life, but then especially when I became aware of how attraction works and how relationships are built, 
I, I had a perfectionist attitude. And so I came at relationships seeing it as, okay, it's this thing that is always being formed and it's either stabilizing, and growing or dying slowly. While this created some negative effects for a long time, it had the positive effect of making me hyper-educated about relationships. And so the relationships I've had have been very educational in teaching me. While I can be very emotional and erratic as a person, the relationship itself, when it was going bad, it was because of a lot of little things done wrong or if it was going well, or it was stable, it's because I was doing a lot of things right. So it is how you say hello to her today, how you text her today. Now you're not gonna be perfect all the time. So this is what I, I want. I don't want you to be overly uh, focused on perfection. You're not always gonna be in a good mood. You're not always going to say the right thing. You're not always going to have the absolute best sex every time you guys fuck. You are not always gonna have the most deep conversation. Sometimes things are gonna just be very blah, say, you know, even the, the healthiest relationship that I've ever been in, there's still moments of just stability and that's okay. And I don't want you to be, especially if you're more of a thrill seeker or a very perfectionist oriented and you wanna make your girl happy because you love her and you care about her, whatever the reason, don't be too obsessive over this idea, but do see the relationship as a thing being built every moment. So be vigilant of how you are around her. Be vigilant of your words. I mean, this should just be a life tip. If you control or at least are aware of your daily thoughts and your daily actions and those hours that you spent doing something productive or doing something that made you happy, that means that that much point of a percentage of your year was spent making you happy or it was spent making your life more negative or in this case your relationship more negative so i want you to start being aware now teaching you exactly how to have a healthy relationship that's worth its own channel right and that's what i'm slowly going to be trying to teach you i teach you seduction and how to actually meet the women and sleep with them and have a, a good start to the relationship but i, I want to teach you how to have a healthy relationship as well so this video is more of a uh, awareness video to kind of give you the right mentality. So, you know, unfortunately, I'm not going to tell you here's the way to have the perfect relationship. So this is more teaching you see the daily words that you're choosing to speak to her with and the intentions that you have behind those words. Think of every conversation, even just over text that you have as, OK, this is me influencing how she feels about me and expressing how I feel about her and it's affecting her. What direction do I want to go into? I want to go in the direction of making her feel loved and making her feel cherished and appreciated. I also want her to lust after me and I want her to, to miss me and I want her to, um, to think about me and want me and to care about me as well. And now she has her part to play in this. There is a relationship game where you need to approach relationships properly and keep, keep it hot and keep it fun and keep it interesting and keep her a little bit on her toes. But she is going to have to play her part but this video in specific is about you so when you're texting her think okay this is my girl i want her to feel beautiful today i want her to feel sexy i want her to feel smart i want her to feel uh, understood intelligent so text with that intention speak to her with that intention when you guys go on a skype call or you're with each other know that she's watching your face you know you are the closest person in her life especially if you guys are in a serious relationship or you're married, or you're gonna have a family together. You are her number one in her life and she is probably your number one too, outside of your kids or your family. So think, I want her to see on my face a reflection of what she wants to see in herself. I want her to see eyes that are loving. I want her to see a face that is interested. I want her to see a smile that is sincere and full of love. I want her to see also eyes that are full of fire and passion. I want her to see, feel that my touch is gentle, but also firm and hungering and lustful. I want her to feel every time we have sex, my passion for her. I want her to feel my appreciation for this, this intimacy that we have together. I want her to, when I pass by her in the house and walk past her, I want to look at her and give her a look of love. I want to, you know, tap her on the ass as I walk past. We're walking on the on the sidewalk together, we're going to dinner together and I pinch her on the butt 
or, or I, I gently squeeze her waist and she looks over to me and I just say, I love you and hello. And when we're having dinner together, I want her to see me while she's eating. She looks up and I'm just looking at her and appreciating her. I want her to feel that love and that appreciation and that lust and that admiration. I want her to feel my respect. I want her to feel like she is someone who I see as not only uh, a beautiful girl, but a cool girl and someone that I in some ways look up to and who I learn from. And I conversely also want to feel that way. I want her to feel like she looks up to me. She sees me as poppy, as daddy, as, as her king, as her boyfriend, as her lover. And if you give that feeling to her, she is going to reciprocate. Of course, if you're in a relationship with someone who is too emotionally unavailable and doesn't, you know, reciprocate the feelings that you give them, part of it could be your fault um, because you didn't open up um, and that you made some mistakes along the way. But as the, if you look at the, the relationship as the big year long or multi year long kind of graph as a metaphor, you can see that overall she has been reciprocating of the feelings I'm giving her. So put in the relationship what you want to get back and think of it as a day by day, minute by my minute, hour by hour time that we hang out. Like this is the time that we're together. And so I'm going to have a massive effect on how she feels about me, but also how she feels about herself. And so what are the things that I want her to feel in the relationship and what do I want to feel back? And if you put those emotions and those intentions and those actions in the correct direction, they will come back to you. So overall, the relationship will slowly become more healthy or at least stabilized. But if on the contrary, you, um, you know, like I said, you're gonna have bad days, but if you are consistently negative around her, you have a bad attitude or you're rude to her or you're unappreciative of her, you lack lust for her, you lack respect for her, you lack the desire to talk to her and to experience life with her. You no longer want to go for walks together. You no longer want to take her out for dinner every week or every other week. You're too busy for her. You don't look at her the same way. Those feelings will slowly start to infect the relationship. And so while in my experience, most relationships don't die suddenly. It's actually quite rare. I think a lot of deaths die a slow death. It's just you don't see the effects until it actually is dead or it's falling down. And then you try to catch the body that is your relationship from succumbing to the disease that you have given it and you try to heal it and cure it, but it's too little too late. It was the months or the years of blah or negativity that you were feeding into the relationship or that she was feeding into the relationship and you two together killed the relationship slowly because a good relationship or a great relationship is built up of a lot of good things done right or a lot of great things done right little by little over time. This applies to everything in your life, your fitness, your health, your mental health, your business, your, your, your passion, your relationship. So see the relationship as you should see the rest of your life as a process which you can keep good and stable, you can grow or you can destroy. And it is built day by day, minute by minute, hour by hour. And it is your decisions and your words and your intentions and thoughts that are going to either keep it alive and keep it vibrant or kill it. So have a healthy relationship, have a beautiful, happy relationship by giving day by day, minute by minute, healthy decisions, healthy thoughts and healthy words and you'll have a healthy relationship. Pretty simple. Cool. Hector Castillo, Poppy from GirlsChase.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you very soon. Ciao.